G'day folks, Ben from Snow is here today with the Coleman Swagger Instant 1P tent behind me here. Today I'm showing you how to set this up both on top of the optional stretcher as you can see it's set up here now, but also just straight on the ground as a regular tent. Get it. The Swagger 1P features an instant up frame. You can set it up either straight on the ground or use the optionally available Instant Swagger stretcher for an off the ground setup. Before we dive into this product, there is loads more content like this on our YouTube channel. So make sure you like and subscribe and you'll get notified of all of our latest content. Now let's jump in. We're down at the Brown Hill Creek Terrace Park here in Adelaide today and I've got the Swagger, Instant Swagger 1P in my hands here. And I'm gonna show you how to set this up today. Now I've got a stretcher set up behind me here as well because you can actually set this up both just on the ground as a regular tent or swag but you can also set it up on the, at the, the separately available Coleman Instant Swagger stretcher there. Uh, we'll go into both of those today. But when you buy it, this is how it looks. It weighs around about seven kilos, 110 centimeters in length and about 20 centimeters in height and depth. We'll start off by showing you what comes in the bag. So the bag does have a bit of an instruction manual inside here, which shows how to pack it up, how to set it up, and also a little bit of detail on how it attaches to the stretcher behind, which as I mentioned, we'll go into shortly. And inside the bag, you get the main portion or inner of the tent. So this is the inner and the frame all bundled together. The fly sheet, which we'll need after we put the inner up. You get a bag with some poles in it for the awning. These are just steel poles that are joined together by um, an, an elasticated cable in the middle there. And a bag of just lightweight pegs with a couple of guy ropes for the vestibule. Lightweight pegs and there is a little like fabric repair patch in there, which well, I can't quite get it out now, but there's some pa patches of fabric in there if you do need it for repairs. Now for setup, the first thing we wanna do is grab the inner portion of the tent here. It comes tied up, so there's a couple of fabric ties here. We undo that and spread it out. So you can see the frame shape here. We've got the main pole down the middle and then you've got sort of these four poles at each end. Just have a think about the orientation of your tent. So I've got the door on this side here. There's only one door, so I want the door facing that way. So I've got this spread out here now. Now, no, uh, no stage with any of this frame should it feel difficult to unfold it. If you feel um, resistance, then maybe just stop because there's probably fabric or something caught up. Now to now uh, put this up, we extend this center pole here. There's a little lock pin hole here. So if we extend this out, we'll see a little silver push pin appear in that hole there to lock it into place. And now we go to the end of the tent and there's two flexible poles at the top here. We don't need to do anything with them. For these two steel poles down here, we need to extend same as the roof pole. So we pull this into the little silver lock pin, pops into place there. Just gets a bit firm, same on the other side. And we do this at the other end and that's pretty much the inner tent set up and ready to go. So I've grabbed four pegs here because I'm gonna peg the base of the tent here down now. There's a few different setup options here. You'll notice on the corners here, if we're setting this up on the ground, I'm gonna put these pegs straight in this loop here just to secure it directly to the ground there. But you notice there's also this short guy rope on here. And that's what we'll use when I show you how to set it up on the stretcher shortly, because obviously the stretcher's up off the ground. You need a bit of extra length to be able to get that peg down into the ground. Now, the other option you've got with setup on this one is you don't have to put the fly on for the stability with a swagger tent. There's guy ropes actually integrated into the inner tent here. So if you don't wanna put the fly sheet on for a bit of extra ventilation or just for a quicker setup, you can just use these guy ropes to peg it out for stability if you like. Right now though, I'm gonna put the other three pegs in around the base and then I'm gonna throw the fly over the top and we'll set it up on the ground first before we get it on the stretcher. I've grabbed the fly sheet and there's actually a color-coded tab on here to help us with the orientation of, of this. So red tab here lines up with the red tab here. So I can open this up, look at the top. We know this is the top because we've got the, the Coleman symbol on there. So I can now throw this over the top of the stretcher uh, over the, it's not a stretcher, sorry, it's a swag or swagger. And this attaches with plastic clips on the corners here. So this is the front corner. We've got a plastic clip here and that lines up with the D-ring on the corner there. So we just hook that into place. We'll do that on all four corners. One other thing I mentioned is there are Velcro tabs up under here that I forgot to uh, do up at the other end. So these just go around the frame of the tent here. There's two at each end that go on the extendable metal poles. They just add, for, add extra bit of extra stability to the setup and hold the fly in the right place. So do those up and then the clips at the bottom 
and that's the fly attached. We can then go and set up the awning on the vestibule at the front. So I've grabbed the poles for the vestibule at the front, but I've forgotten one thing at the rear here, and that's this little vent here, which lines up with a little vent you can open from the inside. So just peg this out. Once again, it's got a rope on here for setup on the stretcher that we'll show you shortly, then also a shorter loop here that you can just peg out, and that just allows extra ventilation up under here. We'll go into the front of the tent and set that up. So you've got a couple of options here. Firstly, if it's really wet weather, you can just peg this out like this and use it as a little storage vestibule at the front of the tent. You've also got integrated into this door at the front here, these eyelets, and they line up, or they can be used in conjunction with these poles. So metal poles, if we put these together, they've got a hook on the top here. If we undo this door here, zips on both sides that run right up to the top here, we can actually set this up as a little weather protected space in the front here. So I need to get two more pegs. We're gonna tie a loop in the end of this guy rope here and we can set the pole up through here. Loop the eyelet through there. Stand this up like this. Now these are quite long because when they're set up on the stretcher, which is ideally how you would use this, this is gonna be a little flatter, but we can now peg this out like this. I'll grab two more pegs to show you what that looks like set up, but then we'll show the alternative setup on the stretcher as well. So that's the Swagger one set up on the ground. You can see it's, it's a small tent on the ground. With this awning set up with the included poles, you can see it angles up a fair way. So it does give some protection to the entrance of the tent here. It certainly gives a lot of shade if the sun's coming this way. Be open if the sun's coming back down this way. But if you did want to use this just on the ground and you kind of want a bit more um, uh, versatility with this setup, you might benefit from some adjustable uh, awning poles to go on the front here. But as I'm going to set this up now, I'm going to put all the pegs up and I'm going to put it on top of the Swagger stretcher over there for an alternative setup, which is an optionally available product. Lifts it up off the ground, but then this awning is then going to come down about this far, so it's going to come sort of more straight out from the tent. So that's the Swagger one on the ground. Let's now move it on top of the stretcher. Okay, so if we just sit that on the stretcher, there's potentially an extra step to attaching it to the stretcher, depending on how you want to set it up. So if I just make some space here on the stretcher, when you buy this, as I said, this is a separately available product. You've got these pins that go in the corners here. Now these line up with the eyelet that is in the corner of the Swagger one here. So this pin goes through that eyelet and then through the stretcher here, it'll poke down underneath here and then we just clip this over the top and that secures the corner of the Swagger 1 to the Swagger stretcher. Now on top of that, if you did want to secure the whole stretcher to the ground, this is where you can use these short guy ropes to actually peg this down if you wanted. Now, whether that's required or not is going to be very dependent on the weather, but it is here if you want. Perhaps if you're leaving your tent for the day, you can put four of these out on each corner. So you've got four attachment points to hold the stretcher and the tent all down if the weather's bad during the day. For today though, I'm gonna leave that off. I'll put these four clips in place so the swag is attached to the stretcher and then I'll show you the uh, vent at the back and also the vestibule and the awning at the front. So we see now we've got the swagger one attached to the stretcher there in all four corners. So we can go around and put the ve uh, vent at the back here but instead of using this loop now, we're going to use the guy rope that's attached here, just a short guy rope so it goes just to the ground here to hold that vent open. Put one peg in place there. Let's then open this up so we've got that ventilation at the back there. And we can go around to the front and set the awning or the vestibule and the awning up around there as well. So two options once again with the front here. I'll zip this up for starters and peg this out just as a weather protected uh, vestibule at the front using these guy ropes now. So instead of the loops up here, we're gonna use the guy ropes, peg it out, and it's just gonna pull it out from the tent. And that actually creates quite a good amount of storage space. We've got now this space under the awning here, as well as under the stretcher to keep our gear dry. So we'll peg this out. We can see we've got this room here. You've got the space here to sit and uh, get changed, if you like, out of the weather. And all this storage under here that's now weather protected. Now on top of that, you can unzip both of these and once again use those um, awning poles and set this up as a weather protected 
awning. You might just need to adjust these. You can see as soon as I undo this, this sort of flaps a little bit. So you might need to just play with the adjustment of those just to keep that taut. I'll grab our awning poles and our guy ropes. And this is where these guy ropes are ideal, uh, these awning poles, sorry, are ideal in their height. So if we loop this over the top, peg this out, you can see now the height of the, the awning there is, is more ideal when compared to it being set up flat on the ground. So you can see now this awning is, is much flatter. So it gives a little bit more protected space under here um, and maybe a little bit more shade, particularly in the middle of the day with the sun coming straight down. So a few different setup options there. Now the last thing I wanna show you, we set up are the, the windows that feature in the ends here. So this is in the fly sheet. As I mentioned, you don't have to have the fly sheet on because you've got those guy ropes that are on the inner tent, but you do also have these windows, one at each end. You can set these up in a few different ways. Firstly, roll them up. Before I go any further, guy ropes, these are the guy ropes that are attached to the fly sheet. Um, so you've got the same guy ropes on the inner. So if it is really, really windy, peg these out, peg the four corners out, and you've secured it to the ground really well. You can roll this up and secure it with this tab here. So you've got that little bit of ventilation there. Alternatively, they have put guy ropes in the ends here. So you can actually peg this out as a little bit of a weather protected awning over that window there. So it's gonna keep the weather out, but allow ventilation through. Alternatively, if the weather's really bad, just zip it closed like this. You see, if it rains, it's gonna come down. These flaps cover those zips. So it's a weather protected space and it just secures with the Velcro tab at the bottom there. And just one other thing I wanna mention um, to alleviate concerns around water getting in between the stretcher and the tent here, which isn't much of a concern because this is actually waterproof fabric anyway, but if you did wanna keep all this dry, just make sure you do peg this right out as far as you can, because if you peg that out and then come around to the side of the tent here as well and peg this out too, there's another guy up in the middle here, peg this right out pulls the edge of the fly sheet well clear of the stretcher here. So if it is really heavy rain, this rain's gonna drip well clear of this. You're gonna get minimal water under here. It's gonna be, have to be really heavy sideways rain before you get water under there. It's gonna keep it nice and dry underneath. And the front's looked after by that vestibule or the awning anyway. So nice dry space underneath the, the tent there. So that's all for the setup of the Swagger One. Two different versions, firstly on the ground and secondly on the stretcher. So if you were to add the stretcher to your setup and have the Swagger and, and the stretcher in your kit, you've got multiple different setup options for this guy. For a single person to sleep inside, heaps of storage at the front or heaps of shelter at the front here. Really easy to set up all by yourself. That's set up, pack down, everything in reverse. The first thing we'll do is pull out all of the pegs and guy ropes, pack down the awning poles and zip the vestibule closed. So I've taken the, all the pegs out. I didn't put all these pegs in place, which makes setup a bit easier, but I now need to dis, uh, detach the tent from the stretcher. So we've got the clips on the corners here. I'm gonna just pull the bottom up loop that over and just pull this pin out. I'll then put this straight back into the stretcher just so that I don't lose it. So they stay on the stretcher all the time. That's now um, remove that from the stretcher. Do that on all four corners and we can take the fly sheet off. Just gonna do these zips up here so I've got not too much fabric flapping around and then we can take the fly sheet off of the inner tent. So we've got the plastic clips on the corners here to undo and then those Velcro tabs that are part way up attached to the, the frame there. Undo those on each corner and we can fold the fly sheet away. Now because I've got this set up on the optional stretcher here, pack up's nice and uh, nice and clean. So if this was on the ground, the ground's quite muddy here today, I'd have a wet base on the tent and it wouldn't be much fun packing it up. But because I've got the stretcher here, I can actually fold it all up on top of the stretcher. The only thing that's getting muddy is the feet on the stretcher. So to pack this up now, come to the frame at the end here we push the silver push pins in so that these legs collapse down do that on each end once we've got the end poles collapsed down come to the center pole here push pin in the middle once again collapse that down and the whole frame will sit flat and you can see it's flat within the the boundaries of the stretcher here now these fold up and in, once again, as I mentioned at the start with this frame, there shouldn't be any resistance at all. So you might just need to pull these little poles up and in as well. So they all come together and then fold back on themselves and they fold down nice and easily. You just need to make sure those little poles 
aren't sticking out when you're rolling up. You want them to sit flat against this center pole here as well. And just take a bit of time as you go to make this fabric pack nice and flat. The bag's oversized, it's easy to get into anyway, but the flatter you make it, the smaller the pack size. So I'll just pull all these up, fold that in, flatten that fabric out. A nice neat package there now. We can fold this over up to where the frame is and then roll this. And this is where you want to be careful. If that doesn't roll easy, it means one of those little poles is sticking out, so don't force it. But I can feel that's nice and flat there now. Roll it up. I'm now going to grab the ties, tie that up, and put it back in the bag. That is how to set up and pack away the Common Instant Swagger 1P tent. Really easy to set up by itself on the ground, just one person, but an ideal setup if you team it up with the optionally available common instant stretcher here. If you've got any questions on this tent, let us know down in the comments below, or you can check out all the details online at snowies.com.au where you'll also find it at our lowest prices every day.